I'm Ms. Artastic and today we're going to draw a lovely little cat. <laughs> so grab your favorite Mark Make Mediums and let's make some art. <laughs> We're gonna begin our cat with the top of the head. So we're gonna use our lovely zigzag lines to create the top of the head in a nice triangular shape. Next, on either side, we're gonna do a diagonal line out for the ears. Curve down, curve down. Add a nice curvy line down the middle for the inner ear. Zigzag lines to create the nice fluffy ear hair that cats have. Next we're going to create the side of the face with more zigzag lines. And these are, instead of going up, they're going to either side. So it's just the same as the head, but this time we're going to the side. And we're going to bring that towards the middle and connect. Next on either side of the face, just under the eyes, we're going to draw a heart. Yes, these are the eyes. Perfect. Now we're going to go around that a second time with our mark maker. And this is going to thicken up those lines. Perfect. Now between the eyes, we're going to draw one line down and two lines out to create both the nose and the mouth. All right, let's add our cat's body from the head just below the eyes. So we're going to draw a little lot, little line just between the head and below the eyes there. From those dots, we're going to draw the body down. Before we do that, we're going to draw the paws. So just under those lines, we want to keep everything lined up. So there's, those are just reminders for us. One line, one line. And these are legs, so we need to add another line. They're parallel, so they're equal distances apart. Use your eyes and just judge the approximate distance. Now we're going to use the letter C as usual to create our little kitty toes. And of course, the letter C can create all kinds of toes. Connect it to the body, to the leg. There we go. Now, because it's a cat, we can add little curving lines to create the nails. Lovely. From those two dots that we added already, we're going to draw zigzag lines down and connect at the bottom to create our cute little cat. On either side of the body, we'll draw some zigzag lines. So we're just curving outwards. This will create the back legs. And here we go. We're going to use that letter C, but this time it's going to be slightly bigger. Three letter C's on either side. I can never match it the same. That's okay. Nobody sits perfectly symmetrical anyway. <laughs> and we're gonna connect it to those back legs. And because it's a cat, use some curvy lines to create those nails. 
Now finally, you might notice that our cat is missing something and if you're thinking, oh, it's missing a tail, well, you are correct. So I, I like to draw a nice waving line up and fluff it back down with our favorite zigzag line because zigzag lines create fur texture. Okay, now before we continue, we're just going to take our mark maker and we're going to go around the just the outside one more time to thicken up that line and make our artwork pop off the page. And this way, in case you had a marker that wasn't faring so well, not a problem. We'll go around a second time and ensure that all the lines are nice, clean, tidy, and dark. As you can see already, one side's a lot nicer and more opaque than the other side. This is where you want to slow down. And make sure all your lines are good. Perfect, and once we're done that, we are ready to begin coloring our lovely cat. So we're going to find a nice color that we're going to use to start coloring the eyes. So we're going to begin with pink for the eyes, or you can use red. The choice is yours. It's always artist's choice. Next, I'm gonna find a cat body color. For me, I wanted to do a gray cat because that's what I like. You pick the color that you want. I'm going to color all one gray and then I'll come back and add the stripes. So you can go ahead and color in your cat.
find a darker value. So if you're doing gray as well, we can now find a darker value gray. Oh, oops. It seems that I made a mistake. I did grab black. <laughs> That's okay, you know what? We gotta roll with the mistake. Sometimes these things are just meant to be. I'll use this opportunity to add some black stripes because on my own cats, you know, in fact, <laughs> they do have black stripes. <laughs> it just wasn't my original intention, but hey, you know what? This is the reality of art. <laughs> and we're gonna use this as an opportunity to just go with it. Why not? In my own studio, all I do is make mistakes and from those mistakes, I create cool things like this cat. And I also learn a lot. Like maybe the black stripes were pretty cool. I do in fact like them. Okay, on to the gray. Okay, I'm gonna use my gray to add any darker colors, darker stripes. I can also use this gray to Add some shadows. Finally, you can grab either a white pastel or a white wax crayon, and we can add some some uh, highlights with these. Either one will work. You can even use a white pencil crayon. That'll also do. Just find something white, and to finish this up, we're just going to add some highlights with whatever white you have. And once you're done adding all your lovely highlights to your cat, your artwork is done. If you liked that video, hit subscribe as new art lessons are added weekly. Teacher, if you are looking for some fully planned art lessons, please make sure that you head on over to my Teachers Pay Teacher store, Ms. Artastic, or for fully planned art teacher curriculum, head on over to artasticcollective.com. Or if you're looking for some other teaching ideas and art inspiration, you can visit my blog at msartastic.com or listen to the Ms. Artastic podcast on your favorite podcast player.